What up, y'all? It's April Dawn. I just came here real quick to talk to you about these tweets that have come out uh, about Mile from the Joe Budden podcast. Now, I listen to the Joe Budden podcast pretty much every week. You know, I don't catch it every single time, but I listen to it most of the time. And, you know, Mile is not my favorite person on the show. Sometimes he seems... I'm just going to say when the tweets came out, it didn't surprise me because he gave me that type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? But, um... So, basically, somebody exposed his old tweets last weekend, and they said that he was, you know, it was like dark-skinned women. The only people who eat at Taco Bell is dark-skinned women and this, and dark-skinned, like, it was just dark-skinned women this, dark-skinned women this, dark-skinned women don't need to wear blonde hair, dark-skinned women don't, listen, this is how I feel about it. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Most of the time when stuff like this happen, I say, my saying is, I can't be worried about nobody who not worried about me. The fact that he don't like dark-skinned women is truly is his business, okay? But this is what I'm going to say. I don't date fat niggas, okay? I don't. I don't date fat men. It's not my preference. But it's amazing to me how some men can sit around and tell you everything that's wrong with black women. We don't need to do this. Dark-skinned women don't need to do that. Dark-skinned women. But you can't stand us. I'm not sitting around saying fat niggas don't need to wear skinny jeans. Fat niggas don't need to do this. Fat niggas don't need to do that. You need to stop eating because they fat. The only people that eat at late night at Waffle House is fat niggas. Fat niggas always going to take you out to the nice restaurant, bitch, because they don't eat fast food. Fat niggas going to do this. You got to lift up their belly. Fat niggas going to do that. Okay? So... Because I don't date them or whatever, it's not my preference, so I just don't talk about them because it's not nothing for me to talk about. I don't date them, they don't date me, we good, right? That's fine. But the reason I feel like he does, or he did, excuse me, put all those tweets out and say all that stuff is because he like whatever type of women he like, Hispanic, exotic, whatever you want to call that, okay? That's what he like, and he feel like he got a shit on us so they could snicker because if you look at the tweets, you can see the replies from some of the Spanish girls, some of the, you know, Hispanic women, some of the Latino women, and they are, they're snickering. They laugh, and they think the shit is cute. So he just, he feel like he have to keep on doing that because at the end of the day, sir, you dark skin. Oh, you got a twin sister, she dark skin. And your mama, I'm sure... Is dog skin. So you're talking about your own people. Okay, now I saw some, I went on Twitter last night and I saw some of the responses. He was saying like, oh, you know, you talking about that, that was jokes. And uh, oh, you talking about this. But don't let you have no dark skin child because guess what? Dark skin genes are dominant. Okay, so even if you get with a light bright, you might still have a brown baby. Then what you gonna say? I sure hope these men don't um, have girls because you got to be instilling the worst self-esteem in your own child if you mess around and have a child that's not light bright. I don't want to get too deep, but it's not, I don't feel like it's a total self-hate thing. I think it's just an ignorant-ass nigga thing. I'm just going to be honest with you. And I feel like he should address it on the show because y'all sit up there and talk about everybody else's business. Y'all done talked about Justin Smollett three, three, three times, okay, in two weeks. Y'all still talking about him. But this happened over the past weekend. He act like he don't even care. He act like he not even apologetic. You're not even going to say, I've changed. I'm a different person. Yes, I was wrong. I shouldn't have did that. That's literally it. Because like I said, have a preference, y'all. If you want to date white people, if you want to date Hispanic people, if you want to date Asian people, if you want to date other black people, go for it. That's your life. But to run around and talk about the people you don't date makes me feel like, you do want to date them. Maybe they just don't want to date you because you got so much to say. I'm not worried about no fat niggas. Do you find somebody who love you? Okay, so at the end of the day, will this affect my life and make me feel bad? No. Just like when ASAP Rocky said dark-skinned women shouldn't wear red lipstick. Because at the end of the day, I can't be worried about nobody who not worried about me. You're not going to tell me what I can and cannot wear, what I can and cannot do, who I am, if I'm beautiful. It's not, it's not, it don't belong to you. It's not your, uh, it's not your job to tell me that. I don't give a, f what you think, baby? So, Ma, address these tweets. Say what you need to say. Okay, because my feelings ain't hurt. I'm not butthurt. I'm just surprised and taken aback that they had a whole podcast and they didn't discuss it. Okay? So maybe they'll discuss it on this week's podcast because it needs to be addressed. I feel like he needs to go ahead and say what he needs to say. because, And I don't want to hear no preference because I got preferences too. I want to 
want to hear what y'all think about this whole thing. So y'all let me know in the comments. All right, I just want to holler at y'all for a second. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace.